We've talked a lot tonight about surviving COVID-19, from the different experiences for Hoosiers after COVID to the efforts to understand its long-term effects. But now let's focus on the survival rate. So many people point to the high survival rate to say this virus isn't a threat. But our Alan Carter went straight to a doctor who looked at the numbers and says it's still no reason to relax. It's a hard number to pin down. We are still talking about a new virus. And according to John Hopkins University, 98% of people survive COVID-19. And new data from Indiana researchers is more encouraging, calculating a 99.7% survival rate, which sound like great odds if you're talking about gambling, but this is life or death. My perspective as a practicing ICU doctor of the last several months is I've seen incredible wins and I've seen incredible losses. Dr. Graham Carlos works at Eskenazi and he doesn't play the percentages. He sees COVID through real people and real loss. If you were to walk in my shoes, Alan, over the last several months, you may feel differently uh, than if you haven't seen what I've seen or experienced it, which is why I think a lot of those comments, Alan, aren't coming from the frontline healthcare workers. Um, they're coming from people who aren't uh, seeing this influx of patients. The problem with COVID is how easily it spreads. So survival seems high, but in raw numbers, 270,000 Americans have died since March. A given survival rate really only matters to the person who gets the virus. What's the survival rate of everybody of my age with my health conditions, etc.? That's the number that matters, not the, the global survival rate.